Hello everyone and welcome. I'm going to walk you through some of the functions of the task manager application. We have a forgot password link here. If you input your email and it's found in the database, it'll send you a time sensitive token to your email where you can reset your password. Now let's log in. I'm currently logged in as an admin. So as an admin, you are able to access this dashboard where you are able to see all your employees. A pharmacist would typically have the admin privileges and the rest of the staff would have staff privileges. And we could go into manage users to manage a user's role here. And if we save it, it'll update it. So now link should be an admin. So let's go back in and change link back to staff. We also have the ability to delete a user. Now let's go back to the dashboard. So we're able to see ourselves and assign tasks to ourselves also. And if we go into our staff here, we're able to see their tasks to see if they've completed them. So they could check them off and click update and that will send a message to the database and update their tasks. So if we go back here, now it shows that they completed three tasks and they don't have any pending tasks. Now I'm going to go into my page, update one of my tasks, update it successfully. And now we have one pending task and one completed task. We're also able to go in here and delete all of our tasks or all of any user's tasks. Now, if we want to assign tasks, we go to the assign task page here. We have a few options. These are specially made for the pharmacy. So this one, we could type in a custom task here, set the priority, set the due date and add the task. Over here, we have assigned station so this would be pre-populated tasks so it will have as many tasks as you want to assign to each station here we'll go more into depth with this page in a moment now let's say we assign the will call station due date tomorrow add task the will call station has a few tasks that are preloaded in there so now this user has two extra tasks. Let's go back here. This is a report that's done for every day of the month. So we're able to do this during any time of the month, but it's specific to a day within the month, if that makes sense. So we're also able to select multiple dates, pick the user that we want to assign that task to select the date and add the task. These are all similar reports, but we do different things for each report. So let's go in here and assign this report. And now we go back to the users page here. And now he has all these tasks assigned. And also, if the due date is today's date, then it will be highlighted in white. If it's not due today, it will be in black text. So let's go back to dashboard. Let's go back to sign task. So now we'll go more into depth into the sign station. If we go to manage stations, we can actually go in here and create a station. So I misspelled that, but I still need to work on a function that allows us to delete a station. Okay, so now let's go in here. So a pharmacist, or I mean, when we select a station here, we can type in a custom task. This, is, this was made so that tasks that we do every week could be more easily assigned in bulk. So let's go back to pharmacist and let's add the task. 
and now we see here that the pharmacist has a task and also we're able to delete tasks when they're no longer relevant to the station and again we could create a new station if it's already in there it won't show up so you won't have duplicates and so now we could go into add user a pharmacist could choose to add a user through this page here it would drop down here with a links page which has many useful links that we use at the pharmacy and it will open up in a new tab and now we could go to announcements in this announcements page anyone could post any announcement here and submit it and then we could also like a post or unlike a post and in the code, we have a translation app. Right now, I linked it to Google because I was paying for an API when creating the app. And that's not really practical for us. So I thought it'd be easier just to link Google Translate. But if you want to check out the Translate app, it is in the code. And it would be under translate.html and that uses an API. It's actually a Google Translate API that lets you, it's set to Spanish by default since that's the language we use most at the pharmacy. So you could, it works exactly like Google. You type in a sentence here and it'll translate it for you. Okay, now we can log out and log in as staff. So let's go in as staff here. And so as staff they're only they only have access to their own task page here where they could see all their assigned tasks and again we have here the due date when it today is the due date it's highlighted in white and we're able to update our tasks we click the check mark and then update to save our changes and then we're also able to add comments here in case like this report was clear there's a specific note that we need to let the pharmacist know about a certain task we can add the comment there it'll get saved now if we log out and log back in as an administrator we can go into this users page here and we can see their comment that they left behind and then we could also delete a task and delete multiple tasks Yeah, well, I think that does it for the presentation. If you have any questions, you could find my email in the description of this video. Feel free to email me. Feel free to add me on LinkedIn or follow me on GitHub. And thank you for watching.